So I want to talk about the bullish case that I'm going to make for Algorand. Now, I've been I've been critical of Algorand in the past. I am still critical of its price action. I don't think it's the best coin to hold for the short term price action that you're going to see in the bull run, which should be coming up very soon because we are we are very close to the end of where we should be. This is already the longest bear run in, in history for the crypto market. So we're due for a turnaround pretty soon, I believe. Assuming that everything works the way it always has around the Bitcoin halving cycle, we do have had some we have had some uh, indicators that there's possible it won't. It is possible. Um, last time our bull market definitely got truncated and didn't go the way the length it was supposed to. So I'm going to be ready to take some profits on all my coins, including Algorand. But this is why I'm bullish long term on Algorand. We're going to dig into that. And it starts off with this uh, this chart that I found very surprising. This really surprised me. And you got to give a shout out to MJ here because MJ MJ is the one who brought our attention to this. This is the top ten most loved and hated cryptocurrency worldwide. So let's read the title. I know you guys are skipping ahead and looking at the chart. Which you see Algorand on top of loved. We'll get to that. Buying investing in crypto can be a volatile business. That is true. Especially as the market is notoriously unpredictable. Uh, kind of. But some digital currencies are more profitable and less troublesome than others. Worldwide, 59.3% of tweets about Algorand are positive. The most of any cryptocurrency. Now, this is why this is why I wanted to show this, because I'm I'm knee deep in the Algorand ecosystem and you see a lot of negativity in the Algorand space. But you do see a lot of positive tweets too. I noticed with other stuff like XRP, which interestingly enough is the is on the negative side, at the top of the negative side, which is crazy. Um you see stuff like, oh, to the moon, blah, blah, blah. You never see anything of substance. So I like what I like about the algo fam is that there's always substance. Yeah, by the way, I don't really like this whole like, oh, we got to change the algo fam to something else. Good luck with that. That's not how it works. You don't you don't intentionally change stuff like that. It has to come about naturally. And so I think that's a little silly. But yeah, Al Rand at the very top, followed pretty closely by near protocol which we cover on this channel occasionally and by clayton and i've heard of that i don't know a lot about it next up is decentraland and tezos now tezos i used to own a lot of tezos and i sold it all to buy algorand actually interesting enough and cosmos Tez uh, cosmos and algorand bnb is up there litecoin decent those are all the ones above 50 percent you have axie infinity which that one kind of surprises me and then Solana. Now I've had some I've had some Solana people screeching at me. I, I actually own a little bit. I bought some just because I think it's it just tends to pump, and I think it's going to pump in the next bull. I just don't think it's a good project. So long term, I, I Solana is one that I, I will probably just sell all of it, very likely. Uh, and then ApeCoin, interestingly enough, on the negative side is XRP. Actually, Bitcoin, interestingly enough. Followed by, and I never see negative stuff about Bitcoin. Uh, when I do see it, it's usually from Maxis. I think everyone else just kind of accepts that Bitcoin exists and it's the OG and you just don't think about it. Shiba Inu, uh, top in that list. I do have my moon bag of Shiba Inu. And by the way, you know, that's a good strategy. You should, when the bull market hits, you should sell. And well, the, what, what I'm going to do is sell and take profits, but I'm probably going to keep like a moon bag. And moon bag just means, I've taken out my initial investment, press some profits, and everything else left is, is what's called a moon bag. It can go to the moon. If it disappears, you're still in the profit. So you've done proper risk management. Yeah, Cardano is on that list as well as Clayton. So Clayton made both the positive and the negative list. And I think that is the only one that made the top 10. Oh, no, ApeCoin did as well. And X, okay, I'm way off. Bitcoin, Axie, and Clayton all made both lists of negative and positive tweets. Super interesting. Yeah, so this person asked about GF yourself, asked about ApeCoin being on both sides. Actually, there were several on both sides, but it was highest positive tweets and highest percentage of negative. And since the negative are so small, it is possible for it to be on both lists. There just aren't as many negative tweets. I think that's really interesting too. Yeah, I don't think he uh Shosha, this is a video game developer. One of, like one of many that doesn't have a game out yet. 
give me a like if you believe in Algorand and that we will see a minimum of $3 per Algorand next year. I don't know about that. That would be pretty close to the all-time high that Algorand had back when it first launched, which it immediately sunk well below that and has never hit that all-time high. It was actually like 313 or 316 or something like that when it first launched and then just dropped like a rock and never has never hit that level again. So we'll see about that. that so that that gives that actually gives me a lot of reason to be bullish about algorand because their sentiment is so high i really like that and it actually surprised me and why else and why else might i like think think bullishly about algorand well python integration into algokit that is huge that might be one of the biggest things that happens to algorand because you just took your user base your potential user base and expanded it like Orders of magnitude. That is literally orders of magnitude because the, the number of people who are using Teal versus Python, Python has like millions of developers versus thousands. So that's a big, that's a big, big deal. That will be, that will be a big thing for, because it'll just mean a whole lot of people won't have to learn a new language to develop for, for Algorand. Plus with AlgoKit in general, which is brand new this year, and then they're going to be improving it further, plus the Python integration. That's a big deal. That's, we're going to see we're going to see something. Uh, continued adoption of Algorand, including the recent migration of Asia broadband from Ethereum to Algorand. In fact, I got something on this. I didn't link to it. Oh, here it is. Uh, this also comes courtesy of MJ. He's really on top of it. Migration of Asia broadband token from Ethereum to Algorand is scheduled for completion October 1st. That's not very, that's, that's about a less than a week away, I think. Uh, Hence, Transaction efficiency, lower costs, and enhanced security, all great reasons to choose Algorand. Well, I totally agree. And why, why might they switch to Algorand? Well, like he says, much better efficiency, uh, faster speeds. It's going to go way faster than Ethereum, plus the lower costs and great security. Algorand is going to be built for, it's one of the few that's really uh, on the way to be quantum proof which is excellent. Big, big thumbs up for, big thumbs up for Algorand. And by the way, Corn Bu Coin Bureau actually agrees with me. Let's take a look at this. I just found this the other day. And this is from, this is pretty recent. This is from uh, December, September 24th. And here's the pros. Open network available for builders, developers, and users in a permissionless fashion. Yep, ba-bing. I won't do that every time, I promise. Uh, Algorand's technology is leading the race in overcoming the blockchain trilemma. I agree with that. I think uh, I think Algorand and Hedera are both are both really solid in that in that aspect. Uh, I think I think Algorand is taking better steps, or at least it's further along the path of becoming decentralized. But I like both of them: environmentally friendly and sustainable. Totally, as is Hedera. So I want to give a shout out to both of them. Their high caliber team is behind the project, and it was created by MIT professor and Turing Award winner. Silvio Macaulay, and I will tell you, I saw him speak at Decipher. Very, very uh, inspirational. I, it was, you know, you definitely were aware that you were watching a genius in action. Low transaction fees and high th throughput ensures Algorand is scalable. We talked about that. Uh, budding DeFi DAP and NFT ecosystem, and definitely budding. I think that's fair. Uh, a couple cons: less network activity, adoption, DAPs than networks like Ethereum. Yeah, well, everyone's everyone's trying to battle the Ethereum network effect. So fair to point out, but yeah, it's pretty much everyone else's uh, concern over token distribution and and centralization. I can understand that. Um, I think a lot of people were critical of the way some of the funds at the foundation were handled. Like the bike, uh, the bike donation, people didn't like that, and uh, they've they've kind of revamped how they do grants. Grants, so now Algorand is like an active player in it, so they can make sure that these funds aren't being wasted. I think that's a good thing, although there are some concerns there too that they might have their fingers in the cookie jar a little too much. Uh, many consider Algorand a government and a regulation friendly crypto project. Going against cypherpunk libertarian ideas ideals held by some Bitcoin advocates. Man, that's fair. I've told you guys all along that I don't think maximum decentralization is the best answer. I think 
I think what Algorand's doing is actually a good idea. I think I think there's somewhere there's some sweet spot, and I think it's more decentralization than like a lot of our institutions operate under. More more permissionlessness, but I don't think like going all the way is the best. Usually, extremes aren't the best solution. Usually, the balance somewhere in between makes the most sense. So this is why I'm bullish on Algorand. This is why I think even though its price action has tended to be challenging, and it is it is challenging and typically has been, other coins tend to pump a lot more. I think Algorand is a good bet for long term. I think it'll be around a while. It's reliable. I think that's one of the best things it has going for it. We're seeing more and more adoption. It's just maybe slower than people would like. Um, I think HBAR's, Hedera's uh, partners have been higher profile and maybe a little more easy to recognize for most people. You know, I, I still have trouble explaining what the the whole Italian bank thing is to people, but they get like, oh, partnering with the next thing we're going to talk about, like partnering on uh, with Freddie Mac on a, on a home loan, high, sa- high yield savings account. Like that makes sense to people, I think. But Overall, like I'm, I am really bullish on Algorand. I've been more bullish lately because I've just seen a lot of things I like. You know, another con you might add is that they've had a lot of closures lately. A lot of the projects have have washed out. I don't have a sense about whether it's more or less than other ecosystems because I just don't follow them as closely. Like I haven't really seen a lot in Hedera, but I think Hedera is too new to really have a lot of those projects to have gone under. And they seem to be focusing more on institutions than developing an ecosystem of developers. I think that's still in its infant stage. So overall, yeah, I'm a big fan of Algorand. I think it's going to be around for a while. I think it's doing the right things. I think I think they got John Woods, which is one of the best things they could have going for it. He's basically become the de facto spokesperson, and that's probably a good thing. You know, we shared some of his comments last week, and he's always he always gets you fired up about Algorand. The guys, the guy's just good at that which is rare to come from a tech person. Usually they tend to be behind the scenes type people, but he is one of those rare people that seems to be both. So good for him. Uh, He's talked about coming on the channel again, so we'll probably do that. I would actually love it to have, I would love to have John Woods and Stacey Warden on the show sometime around Christmas so we can call it the Christmas special, but we will do that. Anyway, that's my thesis on Algorand and I hope you like that. Now let's see what we got.